Yo guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you guys with another video. This is like the ninth time I am recording this. And this is a video that you guys have kind of been requesting. You've wanted to see me program something. You've wanted to learn C Sharp from me. Um, which, I don't know what is wrong with you guys. There is no reason you should want to learn anything from me. But, uh, you know, on the subject of that, I decided to go in and it's my friend's birthday tomorrow. She is turning 20 tomorrow. It's awesome. Um, and <laughs> I wanted to make something kind of special because, frankly, I'm broke, so I can't buy her anything. So I figured I'd make a YouTube video showing something that I made to annoy the ever-living shit out of her. So what this actually is, is this is an email slash SMS bomber. And what I can do with this is I basically send messages in or I can send text messages from my computer to any phone on the planet as long as I know the uh, email extension for it because cell phones have um, little like email things like for Verizon for example that it's at vtext.com is what you can use to send emails to pretty much anybody now what I'm doing with this is I'm going to spam her later with happy birthday at literally like 12.01 because her birthday is tomorrow. So 12.01 a.m. she's going to get all these messages. She's probably going to be pissed because she has class at 9 a.m. tomorrow. But guess what? I'm doing it anyway because this is what friends do. So this is the form that I made. This is the phone number. This is the from email. So really you could actually put anything there. This is the two or the uh, one sending the email. So the actual important email. This is that email's password. We're using Gmail for this. This is the subject of the text message slash email. And this is the actual message body. Now I was going to do a random number generator in here and I do have one in here. I just didn't bother using this. So this is actually useless. But uh, so and then what this numeric up down is and this numeric up down this is how many I want it to send and then this is a, a time delay in between starting at two and a half seconds now it's in milliseconds so two and a half seconds at 2500 milliseconds and then this sends the messages I am planning to expand this project uh, the reason I'm making this is I want to show how pointless it is for people to buy text message bombers off of places like leak forums and hack forums so here it is and I'm going to show you all the code. This is liter this is probably less than 100 lines of code. I didn't actually look at the numbers yet. Yeah, this is 60 lines of code. And this is all it is. So the only thing I need to still add in here and the reason I'm showing the recording of this like this instead of uh, in another method like where I just code it all is because I already recorded coding it all and then it didn't work. So I had to go in, I had to stop the recording like four times, go in, figure out why it didn't work, come back and be like, holy crap, what is going on here? But we're going to add a space and then random three. So this little random string up here, uh, shit, I meant random string. So this little random string up here just puts random numbers up to three spots. So it could be zero through nine, nine, nine. And the reason I need to do that is because text message providers will detect if the message is the same within a certain period of time, and then they will block it. So if I put a random number string in there, uh, it'll be a different message every time to make sure she gets every single message. And then also down here, I have another security feature called uh, thread.sleep. What this does is it makes the program pause for a short amount of time, um, whatever I set it to, so that millisecond time frame, and it will uh, pause, not send anything, and then start over. And then this is just a loop uh, while start um, the max, so I'm going to set this to like 50 or something like that, and then once it hits 50, uh, less than or equal to, once it hits that number, it will stop sending. And that's all it is. And then this is just the from email, the uh, sending email password, which I guess would be from password instead if I wanted to make it easier. But you could go in and customize this further, do custom SMTP ports, uh, custom SMTP client. Um, honestly, the safest way to do this is not use Gmail because <laughs> Gmail has a security feature applied where you're, uh, 
it will some usually block the logins of this kind of crap. But uh, since I don't have that applied at the moment, it doesn't really matter. I have it bypassed through my Gmail account, so it's not really that important. But I'm going to show you guys that this does indeed work. So we're going to start it. We're going to put in my phone number. So like I said, I have Verizon as well, so at vtext. Then we're going to do... Actually, can I just do... I have no idea if I can do that, by the way. Oh, Jesus Christ, let's not screw up anymore. I've been trying to record this for like an hour. Message, loser, subject, winner. And we're going to send five of them to myself every two and a half seconds. I also have this set to 500 increments. Now, you could go in and you could do like 3111, and it will work, but... I don't know, that's kind of pointless. I figure 500 interval is perfect. And then we're gonna send. That does have to be an email, got it. So we're gonna go. So that does have to be an email, I did not know that. So we're gonna stop this, we're gonna start it. I wish it didn't have to be an email, but you know what, that's okay, at least we learned. Did I just get it? Any oh, no, that was a friend of mine. So, Jesus Christ, I can't even type my own phone number. I'm going to spam him, actually. Yeah, I know there's no point in having two text boxes for that, but you could use different emails. So I guess there's really no point in that. We'll just test this. Test three send and then I do have my ringer on so you guys should be able to hear when it sends them or when I receive them but once I can also click this button that means that it's done sending them so I should get them here in a moment unless I have no cell phone service let's reply to my friend while we're waiting for this here it goes yep so I would include like screenshots or video proof, but I can't really record my screen on my phone. So that would be a little pointless, but it is working. Uh, the reason you're not hearing the ringers because I have it open to view them, but I just got all three, so it's working. I will upload the source code for this, or actually I won't to make you guys have to type it and learn, but I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.